friends, Nibs again, out here in the garage. Just going to do another quick mail call for you guys. Seems like these mail calls all come jumbled together, but I uh, <clears throat> wanted to uh, get this one done tonight for you guys. Uh, this is one that I had uh, put a picture up saying I, I had bought it, but I uh, wanted to do a, a quick mail call. I'm sure, you know, pro uh, assuming that it actually works, we'll be doing a full review on this one down the road. Some head to head challenges against some other cool uh, pistols that I got here, but for now, um, pretty uh, pretty minimal packaging here. Hopefully, it traveled okay. I'm sure it probably did, but uh, this is uh, supposedly a brand new piece that, uh, which is not really usual for me. It's something I, I, I don't know, just uh, I usually uh, find deals on broken stuff more than anything or, or used stuff but uh, I've seen some really good reviews on this particular product and I, and I thought it'd be worth uh, picking up and, and reviewing for getting for the channel for, for playing it around with <clears throat> but, uh, what we have and, and I really do uh, you know I like beaming products um, I, you know they used to be very high quality uh, back in the day. A lot of them were just uh, rebranded RWS products. Um, but what we have is a Beeman P17, which is a, yeah, actually it says P17 on the thing, but it also says model 2004. So uh, for what it's worth, I don't know why it has two model numbers, but let's go ahead and crack this thing open and uh, see what it does. There we go. We need to keep the packaging intact as much as possible in case I have to return it or something, but hopefully not. But what we have here is a, what they call a single stroke pneumatic, and I really enjoy single stroke pneumatics. I have several. I have this Daisy Model 717, which is a really cool older single stroke pneumatic and then I have this Baikal M IZH 46M and the way a single stroke pneumatic works is you pull the uh, handle out and in this case you pull it out until this piece flips up and that actually cocks the trigger and sets the, the valve up inside you would put a pellet in there and you bring your arm back down and it, it's not as hard as I made it look there but uh, I was just trying to keep the thing from wiggling around so much but then you would bring down your if you put a pellet in there you bring that down and close it and then you, you would fire it so um, so I do have these two pistols and just coincidentally I have the uh, <clears throat> game o super match out here on the bench as well because I'm actually going to be working on mounting a scope on that one. I have a Walther LGR as well that's uh, stored away right now but uh, that's one of my favorites. But So anyway this is a uh, single stroke pneumatic as well and all that really means is there's no piston spring. Uh, the way that these things store energy is by actually compressing air kind of in a similar fashion to like a Crossman 760 but there's only one pump uh, instead of multiple pumps the way you uh, so the way you cock this one is you uh, pull back on the what would be the hammer on a real pistol here and then that pops up now you bring that all the way out and there's your compression valve in the cylinder here now uh, let's see here, we got a, so, and then you put a pellet up in here inside the barrel, I heard it can be a little bit fidgety, but a lot 
lot of people say it. You get used to it after a while. I'm trying to put a wad cutter in there, and it is a little, a little fidgety. There it goes. And I also read you want to make sure that it is seated all the way in the barrel because there is a rubber o-ring back here and if you don't have it seated all the way in the barrel when you close this back down it can uh, cause tears in that rubber o-ring so now you would just bring it back down and slam it shut make sure your fingers are not in the way I'm gonna for the first one I'm just gonna All right, has a pretty nice trigger. So I had all the reviews I've seen on it say that it should have an automatic setting safety, but this one did not turn the safety on. So that's interesting. I don't know why that wouldn't do that, but well, that time it that time it pushed the safety back. All right, I'll have to keep an eye on that, but. Uh, I just as soon have not do the automatic safety, but all right, that's not too bad getting those pellets in there. So we bring that down, turn the safety off. I'm just getting a little bit low. Both of those shots. Hitting the exact same spot on my tuck by suit and see. Let me, uh, I'm gonna bring this out so you're seeing what I'm doing here. I'll be doing a more thorough review on this down the road for sure. Um, <clears throat> Just wanted to let you guys see the unboxing in the first couple shots. Um, but yeah, so the last, these last two shots actually did set the safety. I don't know why the first one didn't, but not a big deal. That pellet did not come out of the barrel. Pellet's still in there. Yeah. So I have it fully seated in there, but the rubber O-ring was dislodged from the thing. Let me try it again here. Okay, that's better. Uh, that one hit a little bit to the right, but I didn't take as much time aiming that one. Let me do one more and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> you can kind of see my others up here on the bench a little bit better now that I got you. Looks like it'll be a fun gun to play with. Um, I, uh, I, have read that it does have an adjustable trigger. We'll have to play around with that a little bit. It's pretty nice already, um, but if it could be a little bit lighter, that would be good. Again with the... That's a problem. That is a problem. rubber o-ring is becoming dislodged from the uh oh folks I am gonna have to talk to this guy that I bought this from this is supposedly brand new should be warrantied I would think I don't know why this rubber o-ring is not wanting to stay if anybody has any thoughts on that I would be glad to uh, hear about that 
My pellet's not sticking out. There's no reason for that o-ring to not be seated in that. All right, I try one more here. Let's see here. Yeah, so the the o-ring is popping out after the shot. All right, well, we're gonna have to do do some uh, uh, warranty claims on this guy, I guess. That's disappointing. It's shooting great as long as the O-ring's sitting where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that time it uh, it actually fell right out. It is gone. Where did it go? There it is. All right, guys. Well, I call them like I see them. If it's if it's defective, I let you know it's defective, and uh, I'll uh, let you guys know if I can or can't get this thing warranted or whatever. Um, I guess if uh, if the guy won't do anything for me, maybe I'll see what I can do about trying to glue it in there or something. I don't know. But uh, I really hate to have to do that. If you guys got any thoughts on what's going on with this thing and my best way to resolve the problem, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know. But anyway, seemed like it would be fun, but so far <laughs> it's a bust. But uh, there's the uh, my Beeman P17. Thought it'd be worth worth a risk at 50 bucks, but uh, so far I'm disappointed. But anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.